welcome to another episode of the Adultish Podcast. You can like, listen, comment, share, and subscribe to Adultish on most streaming platforms. You can also find Adultish on Twitter at Adultish, P-Zero-D-C-A-S-T. To a brand spanking new episode of the Adultish Podcast. As always, it's your host, Afia, and I'm joined by my lovely co-host, Mr. Vincent Bernard. Vincent, say hello to the world. Hello, beautiful people. How, how art thou? We art well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we had to start off on a light on a lighter note. Yeah, because so, yeah. I think this one is gonna be kind of like a I don't wanna say intense, but just like a it's weighty. It's gonna be weighty, it's gonna be cerebral, it's gonna be yeah. um <clears throat> a deep retrospective Yes um, of experiences and mm-hmm. things that we've experienced and so what are we talking about, Afia? You I'll, do I'll yeah, I'll I'll do the intro mm-hmm. for you. So Funny enough, how we do our episodes mm-hmm. oftentimes, sometimes not, but, you know, we try to keep it fresh mm-hmm. and funky. We, we don't want to <laughs> plan everything out too, too much. Right. But in our little text group chat, Vincent's like, you know what? We need to do an episode on freaking, like apologizing. Right. Right. So Vincent sends over this text. <laughs> 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 right. In our group chat, because we do have a group chat. Yes, we do. And the text is a meme. That says everybody groan until it's time to communicate or apologize. Yes. And as Vincent sent that text to me, I literally responded like you were in my head because an uh, <laughs> hour prior to him texting me that I said to myself, we need to do an episode on how to apologize like an, an adult. adult. Oh, my God. Yes. Because here's the tea with that. As adults, or like, and, and this is not a, a generational thing. I think yeah. it's a personal thing. There's mm-hmm. some people that don't know how to apologize. Yes. They don't know how to actually say, "Yo, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I own that." Mm-hmm. Some people do this thing where they do this, and I know this because I've, I'm familiar with this. I've done this mm-hmm. when I was being a dick. They do the, "Oh, I'm sorry that you were offended." Yes, I'm sorry your feelings were hurt. And I just had something like that happen to me recently where. Some were kind of kind of fucked up, and they were just like, "Oh, well, it wasn't my intention to be smug or whatever, whatever. I'm sorry that you were offended." And I'm like, "No, I was offended because what you said was smug. Oh, yes. it was condescending, and it was in that snivelly way that you do it. So, no, own the fact that you were were being smug or condescending. Mm-hmm. And if that wasn't your, if that wasn't the case, then say." I wasn't meaning to be that way. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry that mm-hmm. that, that, that mm-hmm. was the way that it came off. Absolutely. But don't do that. I'm sorry you were offended thing because it, it it's not it, you're not owning. It's not a real apology. Yeah, it's not a real apology, and you're not owning the fact that that was the way what you said was interpreted. Absolutely. Now, me, one thing I do is, and I've I've, I've come a long way with this. I've come a long way with this because here's the tea. A lot of us at one point in our time in our lives, we have narcissistic tendencies Mm -hmm. and narcissistic personality disorder npd is something that all humans experience at one point in time or another now the way it becomes an embedded personality disorder is when it happens when you're young and you don't have the you don't have the wherewithal Mm. to be able to adapt so you have maladaptive emotional responses right Mm -hmm. so of course these are all individual things I have come to the point now as a 36-year-old man where when I fuck up, I own it a feel. Like I say, yo, like I say, you know what? That wasn't my intention. I am so sorry that that was the way it came out. Like I was this, I was that, I was being emotional, I was blah, 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 blah. And one thing I noticed is that that diffuses the situation completely. Like I'm just going to get that out there right now. Like, like, Like that's the way I apologize. I feel like that's the best way to apologize. But that is not the way a lot of people apologize. No. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. They don't. They don't. They, they, most people don't. They don't own it. Nope. 
and, 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 and before I like be done with my, my monologue, my soliloquy, <laughs> you know, there were, there were two things, two contrasting examples that I noticed recently. So my problematic musical fave is Halsey. Okay. The singer. She's not that problematic, but there are times where she can be problematic. Okay. And she has this song called Alone of a 2017 album that I love. And there's a part in the second verse where she says, and I won't say I'm sorry because I can't take the blame or I won't take the blame. Okay. And and, and I, <laughs> I listen to that and I sing that part and I sing that part. And today, coming on the train, to you, to meet you, I sang that part out loud, and I said, "See, that's the problem with society." Mm-hmm. What she just said, "I won't, I won't say I'm sorry because I won't take the blame," and that's some fucked up, manipulative shit, narcissistic bullshit, narcissistic bullshit. Mm-hmm. And someone very close to me, the Cuban, mm-hmm. my boo boo, he is dealing with someone who's very close to him, and I won't don this person out, but this person that's very close to him is like that. This person will refuse. With every fiber of their being. To apologize. To apologize and accept it. And, 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 and here's what they'll do. They will say some heinous, fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I'm very long-suffering. I could take a lot. Mm. I'm very forgiving. Mm-hmm. But like you, my friend, my mm-hmm. sister, I get to the point where I'm like, oh, no, you crossed the line. Yes. You crossed the line. There's no forgiving. There's no take. There's no take these back seas. Yes. You've made an enemy out of me. Yeah. And the thing about me, like, yo, I will ride for my family. I am a fierce lover. I'm a fierce protector. Like, this is who I am and my, and my being. But when you come for my boyfriend and you come for me in the same breath. Ooh you looking to have your breath snatched out your Child, body i will assassinate you <laughs> and I, I will assassinate you and won't think twice about it mm. like, like on some of the shit yeah. like i will take your Step life over your corpse yes i will i will read you like a lecture abundance mm. read that white bitch on the yes. last episode of what's his name i will clear my throat i will lubricate and i will read, read you bitch, that bitch. And, and, and while i'm reading you i will put my finger up drink my water lubricate and then i will send you on your way Yes. So, and, and, but I mentioned this because she, I almost said their gender. Well, she would do this. And then when called out in a bit, oh, oh, forget about that. No, 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 no. Mm. There's no forgetting about what you Oof. said because you went below the belt. Yes. Now, this person does have personality disorder. Mm. Bonafide. So they're not a natural human being. No, I won't say that. They don't, they're not thinking like a functional human being because when you have a personality disorder and you, and you are a toxic person, there is no getting through. Yeah. So I'm just taking it from that point of view. But like that person has an inability to apologize like an adult. And there mm-hmm. are a lot of people. There are a out lot of people like that. That deal with that. Now take the floor, sis, because if not <laughs> Are you gonna be at this? <laughs> <laughs> so Go ahead, girl, because if go you back got some stories. <laughs> to what you were saying, um, because I had several examples. I'm trying to figure I'm trying to pinpoint which ones I yeah. want to use. Oh wait, well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, you off, no, no, I said I had two contrasting examples. Yes, you did. Yes. What's the second so, one? The second one, I was watching Homeland. Okay. Right, I'm watching Homeland. Now, Claire Danes has a mood disorder. She's on the antipsychotic. Okay. And there was one episode where she... All right, so if y'all watch Supergirl, the black guy on Supergirl who plays John Macaw Jones... Brooks? Not Macaw it's... Brooks, no. Oh, he, okay, yes, I know yeah, who you're talking about. Yes, 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 yes. He's yes. on the first season of Homeland. Okay. They, he and Claire Danes, they had a situation together. Martian Manhunter, is that Yes, what he was yes, in Martian okay. Manhunter, yes. I forget his real name. But there's a scene in there where they're having drinks and she says, you know what? I'm really sorry about that. And then he says, what are you sorry about? She says, you know, back then when we were, you know, because basically what happened was they were kicking it. They were fucking around. He's a CIA agent. So is she. And I guess since she has a mood disorder, she's on an antipsychotic. She went a little cray and mm. wind up like wind up contributing to the marriage being broken up, even though it was already there. Okay. But one thing I like about the scene is that her apology was so real. And I remember again, this must be because met Afia because like, when I watched this last week, I immediately thought about you. A mm-hmm. lot of the times when things happen, when I think it's going to be a great conversation, I think about Afia. And I thought yeah. about you. And she said, I'm sorry. And, and it was like, there was no, and she said, no, I'm really sorry. And she meant that shit. Mm. And so like, 
ladies and gents, like that's it right there. Now go ahead, go ahead, go, go, go. Yes. So just just to give you guys an understanding, his name is David Harewood. I had to look him up because you know we want to make sure we give snaps to Mr. David Harewood. Yes, yeah, um, excellent actor. So that's, that's so that's the actor. So like I was saying, or I was thinking, yeah, I have a bunch of examples. I'm going to try and keep them as as brief give us as possible. Three, give us your three most powerful. <laughs> um, <whew. laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> um. She's, okay. she's like fuming us guys this is about to come <sighs> yeah mm-hmm. so so to go back to the way in which people don't apologize yes. there is that way in where you said people will say i'm sorry if i offended you which right. is the one that you right. use right 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 oh, i'm so, sorry you were offended i'm sorry yes that's the one yes. you said was i'm sorry you were offended right mm-hmm. the one that um that is a thing for me like a a tick for yes. me uh, you know, a a, pee, a pet peeve a pet for me peeve. is when people say, "Um, if I did X, I'm sorry." Ooh, that's gaslighting, right? Um, Baby, before you go on, yes, gaslighting. Break it's it down. Basic, basically, all right, so gaslighting comes from the movie Gaslight, and gaslighting is a psychological term, which basically means that you are trying to make a person's perception of reality, make a person doubt their perception of reality. So even though everyone in the room know that this person did what you're seeing that they did, they will literally make it like that. That's not what happened. That are you sure? Well, that's not. And they will invert reality to a point where you actually wind up questioning whether or not you experience what you experience. Bam. And people who gaslight are experts at it bam before you even know what the fuck is happening you're already twisted bam so as, as my sister's saying yes that's some gaslighting shit that's Go some gaslighting shit i won't interrupt um, you anymore i brought that i actually brought that up in um this tuesday or last or well, last tuesday's episode yes. of um of adultish with fad where i said me and my mother we had a conversation over um some words that she threw at me many many years ago and as I'm talking to her, her she refuses to apologize. And I, right. I mentioned this in the podcast. She did not apologize. And I told her the least you can do if you don't want to apologize is say to me, if it happened, then you're sorry. At the right. very bare minimum, right. even though it's some shit that I hate. Right. And as I continued in the podcast, I said it's not a real, a real apology. But the reason why I gave her allowed to let her have that out was because she continually denied what I said happened. It was like, that didn't happen. You heard it different. It's not real. I don't know what you're talking about. I never said that. And I'm like, well, apologize. You know, you're not even apologizing. And she goes, well, if, and I said, well, you know what, if you're going to apologize, if, if you're not going to apologize, if you're going to stand here and say that I was either deaf or had imagined this, or um, I made this all up, you know, we're not getting anywhere. And I said, right. the least you can do, you know, what I'm hearing you saying is I made it up versus I'm sorry for saying that. Right. And so her response was, well, if I said that, um, then I'm sorry. And I said, well, you know what? Fine. I'll take, I'll take that as an apology, even though I know for a fact that is not an apology. Right. And a lot of people, a lot of people, um, revert to that kind of apology. The, right. I'm sorry this did this to you right. versus I'm sorry what I did yes. affected you. Yes. And if this happened, then I'm sorry versus I'm sorry that this happened. Yes. Because when you do the whole if, now you're like Vincent said, you're creating an error where it's like now the person is questioning reality. Did right. this actually happen? Right. If is a conditional. If, you know, was it something that was real or was it not? Did this right. really come to pass or did it right. not? Did you imagine this or did you not? Right. Are you remembering them this differently? Right. And basically telling people, in my reality, this this did not happen. Right. But if this happened to you in your reality, then I'm sorry that that right. happened to you in your reality versus right. saying, I'm sorry for saying what I said. Right. Though I cannot remember that I said it, I'm sorry. Right. And in per- and a person saying, if I'm sorry, then, you know, if this happened, then I'm sorry. That to me alone is a, a demonstration and admission of you not owning responsibility for Amen. anything. Amen. Yes. Now... I will piggyback you and no, say. No, go ahead, please. Now, when that now when, when when that apology works, is when you had to check someone. Yes. Maybe there's a situation where you had to check someone, or you needed to be checked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then 
maybe someone checked you in a way where you wasn't prepared to deal with that. And in that case, I'll say, well, I'm sorry you felt that way, but you need to hear that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Or someone has said to me, and, and I have gotten that, like, Vince, I'm sorry you felt that way, but real talk, I love you, but you need to hear that because you were doing A, B, C, or D. That's the only time that kind of a pop... 